their friends. Europe is a continent of values and freedom. And under these principles, we lead the continent. The West won the Cold War because of our moral basis, and we are against dictators and aggressors. And today I speak about Ukraine, because answer to Ukrainian question is about what we believe and who we are and how we will implement our values in practice. As Yulia said, Ukraine is now an idea. The popular uprising against the corrupt Yanukovych regime showed us the different Ukraine we all hoped was there. We saw the country striving for success based on an embrace of European values. And this opportunity can't be lost. Ukraine needs us, and this is an existential question for all of us. Moving forward on the association agreement with Ukraine, we'll act as a type of Marshall Plan for Ukraine. And that could enhance the long-term prospects of the euro, strengthen investment activities across the EU members, and most importantly, accept the brave Ukrainian nation into the European civilization that they have fought for. Only then, will the Eastern Partnership Program become a practical tool for the completion of the European project. But our union has no meaning without security. The Russian occupation of the Crimean Peninsula was an eye-opening event for many of our partners across Europe and across the world. Now there is a wider understanding about the essence of Vladimir Putin-led Russia when the country occupies the part of its neighbor, it acts as a dictatorship. We, as an European community, based on Western values, have to make clear steps, or Putin will make another move, move forward. He has never hidden his plans to establish new empire on the basis of former Soviet Union, and clear steps towards this ambition have happened. Ukraine today is a replay of the Russian war against Georgia in August 2008. And West was too weak in making Russia pay for 2008 Georgia. And this caused Crimea this year. And we don't need to fear Putin. He understands only unified power of the West. And now is our movement to act. Aggressor will not calm down his appetite will rise, and his plan is to pass change of regime in Ukraine. And we should respond to an aggressor. We need stronger transatlantic tie. We need more US commitment and troops in Europe, and we need higher defense expenditure by European countries. We must firmly stand with our friends and defend the way of life we have built. Those among our family with good cooperation and interoperability with NATO should be allowed to join NATO with the benefits of full membership. Of course, there will be intimidation and sanctions from Russia. It has already begun, but this is a lesser price to pay for the security of Western values that we want on. We need to be firm for the sake of this we have to put a price to Putin's actions. Aggressor must see that actions of aggression will cost him more than the benefits. And there is always a question of cost and benefit game. I demand personal sanctions to all Russian officials in the line of command who are responsible of aggression in Ukraine. Russian membership in Council of Europe needs to be frozen. All Western countries must immediately freeze all defense cooperation with Russia. <laughs> Ukraine now needs clear support to the European way. We have to quickly ratify association treaties with Moldova, Georgia, and Ukraine. Beast is out there. There is a time to act before he bites again.
and the time to act is right now. Long live freedom of Europe. Thank you.